so we are at Annika San Falls. It's in the north of Myanmar, close to the city called Pyunulwil. That's where we stayed overnight. So, <clears throat> how to get here? Well, first of all, you have to leave the city. You can rent a bike or you can uh, grab a tuk-tuk, get you out of the city and get you to the village from where you do some hiking. You can either hike for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, or you can just drive all the way down. However, you have to be careful because it's very, very steep and the road is full of rocks. It's very, very uh, slippery. So you gotta be very, very careful and go very, very slowly. place is full of people but actually I haven't found any tourists here uh, so it seems to be very popular spot among the among the local people not a single Westerner So the last attraction today that we're going to visit is the cave. So not even halfway up, the bike broke down. So you can see there in my glasses, that's the bike. I think there is a problem with the gear. I think the gear slipped. Anyway, so I'm unable to move it at all. The engine is working, but I can't put it in the gear. So we're stuck. <laughs> So there are some nice people just appeared helping me fix the bike. There you go. Very good people. <laughs> and thanks to their amazing help, I was able to carry on with my journey to the cave. <laughs> So the cave we're about to visit is not a regular cave, it's a religious site. There are also um, statues of Buddhas located in the cave. So you have to make sure to take off your shoes as you would going into a um, pagoda or any other temple. This place is very, seems like it's very popular among the um, local people, same as the waterfall earlier. But no tourists, I actually haven't seen any Westerner. It looks like, like that is the entrance. And this is where we're going. It looks like it used to be a cave a long time ago until they put the concrete and all the statues inside. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of Buddha statues. Wherever you look, there is a statue. And this place seems to be very, very wet. And the water keeps dripping from the from the top. It's very strange. I've never been to a place like this. I've been to some caves in southeast of Asia, but they were more uh, they were preserved more in its natural state. Whereas this one is obviously being designed and engineered, if I can say that, to be a religious place where people can come in and pray.
so after walking for about 10 minutes we finally reached the the dead end and uh not sure i think we're gonna just head back i just wanted to quickly mention how friendly are the burmese people uh, especially today we've been getting so many smiles friendly smiles and people were obviously paying attention to us as we were the only westerners at the waterfall and here at the cave too just to summarize uh, very very friendly very genuine people and so helpful when my bike when my bike broke down i was just stuck stuck there in the middle of uh, of nowhere and uh, people were just stopping and asking me whether they can help obviously they couldn't because the, the problem was quite serious Pyun Ulwin uh, I hope that's how you pronounce it it's located more than 1000 meters above the sea level which makes the local climate a little bit cooler than down south in Myanmar so the temperature doesn't really um, go above 30 degrees here, which is pretty nice. And because of this climate, it's a little bit cooler. Uh, you get a lot of get a lot of flowers uh, and strawberry plantations and coffee plantations growing here. So it's a good place to try some good local strawberry jam and a freshly brewed coffee. Another thing that this city is known for is sweaters. So if you fancy getting a nice warm sweater for yourself, that's the place to go. Interesting place with an interesting atmosphere and a very friendly people. Another thing that Idoya actually picked up and I totally agree with that is that friendliness of the people here in Pyunul Win. It can be compared to Vietnam but not everywhere in Vietnam. Um, only outside the big cities, so not in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City, although they are very nice cities too and you should visit them. But when it comes to people which are just excited to see you, local people, I think as soon as you leave the, the main city in Vietnam, that's where you get, that's where you get, but well, that's where you find those people, very friendly. And same here, uh, the friendliness is just top class, especially here in Pure Win. Um, everywhere really, but especially here.